My name is Mary Kamau, co-founder and director of Institutional Development and Strategy at Missions of Hope International Nairobi, Kenya. I was born in a polygamous family. My dad had two wives and I'm the seventh born of 20 children. And so growing up, I had uh, felt that I was one of the most disadvantaged people in the whole world because we didn't have much resources in our family. And so I desired uh, from when I was young to work hard in school, go to university, hopefully get a job in a bank and work with money and not be poor. By God's grace, I made it to Kenyatta University. I got to know Jesus and then I joined a group that would go to different communities to evangelize and do missions. Emilio, uh, whom I met in this meeting, uh, started telling me about his story and he described to me this community of Madhari Valley slums. One Saturday morning, Emilio came and took me to Madhari Valley slums and that was the turning point of my life. I had never seen poverty in that manner. So many people packed together in a very small place, uh, families living in chanties like, that are like eight by 10 feet, no windows, no running water. And for the first time, I felt so blessed in my life. I felt like, why had I even complained my whole life? After spending this time in this Madare Valley, I went back to college and the pictures of the children and the people that I had seen, the images of this community could not leave my mind and my heart. I felt like something had to be done. With a little bit of pocket money that I had, I went and I did some grocery shopping and visited this family that Emilio had taken me to. And I, when I took these uh, groceries, they invited me to sit and wait for them to cook the same food that I brought to them. Then I started talking to these kids. I started singing with them, Jesus loves the little children, sharing with them a Bible story about David and Gorai. And uh, I mean, that just got into my heart and to my mind. And I went back the following Saturday and the following, and I've never stopped. Later on, as I continued uh, ministering in this community of Madare Valley to the children, uh, I got connected to my husband, Wallace. In a prayer meeting, I learned that he had a heart to serve the people of Madare as well, and we got married. In the year 2000, we started the first Hope Center with 50 boys and girls aged 4 to 6. As of today, we have 30 30 schools and we also have over 22,000 children and God has just continued to bless this ministry in amazing ways. To get a church like Crossroads come alongside us is so enriching to us. It is such a huge encouragement because it means that they believe in the vision and the mission that God has entrusted to us. It is such a great encouragement and it, it kind of gives me the energy to keep going because I know that I'm not alone in this calling. <laughs>